Hey, what's happening guys? This is Kenji and welcome to the next part in the League of Legends series. Um, this video is supposed to be out on Friday. I uh, couldn't get it out on time, unfortunately. If you want to find out why, head over to the Gears of War 3 beta video that I put up yesterday. Uh, so we're covering Cogmore in this one. We're going to be doing all the normal stuff. Rotation, skins, summoner spells, item builds, all of that. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more time, so let's get straight into this now. Alright, so we're just going to have a quick overlook at Cogmore's abilities. First is Caustic Spittle. Uh, so you get an attack speed bonus off this, um, which is one of the reasons I like it. And you get, uh, when you use it, sorry, you it reduces the target's armor. Now, I don't use this as an ability that much. Um, however, the attack speed and the armor reduction are awesome, awesome, awesome things for Cogmore because he is primarily a... Um, he's used to take down enemy tanks, so... And I stack uh, attack speed. I'll show you why in a second. Um, so this ability is more I use it for the passive side of things rather than the actual attack itself. So this is Cogmore's second ability. It's called Bio Arcane Barrage. Now this is, I guess this is probably my main ability. Uh, probably the ability I use the most. Um, it gives you range, an extended range, and it lets you deal a percentage of the target's maximum health uh, per attack. So obviously that percentage changes um, depending on what rank you have, uh, but this is why I love to, uh, stack attack speed, um, because a lot of my attacks from this and from a few items are percentage based, um, the, obviously the more attacks I can get off, the more damage I'm going to do, and late game, Cogmores does a ridiculous amount of damage if you're, uh, stacking attack speed. So his third ability is Voidus, this is a... Uh, slow as well as doing damage um, it's got a decent range I guess on it to be honest I don't use it that much uh, it's the last ability I level up um, I use it uh, the initial rank as just a basic slow um, more as a defensive sort of thing than anything else uh, but as later in the game it does come into my rotation a bit more so Cogmore's last ability is his ulti it's called living artillery um, Pretty much, it's on a two second cooldown, so this is a, a very, very important part of your rotation. Um, pretty much sends a thing of ooze up into the air after a short delay, it hits the ground, uh, dealing damage to whatever it hits. Um, very important attack uh, is one of my, between that and um, his Arcane Barrage, the two most used attacks. So the very last thing is Cogmore's passive. I'll just let you watch it here. Pretty much when you die, um, you get reanimated for a second uh, after a short while, you'll explode, dealing damage to enemies around you. Helpful for sort of, uh, if you get someone down to really low health, they kill you, you can generally get the kill back on them. So this is Cogmore's, I guess, ability sequence, spell sequence, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is what I level this, the spells in uh, first, second, third, all of that. So I level Bio Arcane Barrage first. Um, this is because... It's one of my most used attacks. The percentage damage and attack speed that I stack uh, makes me put out a lot of damage. Uh, Calcic Spittle, I level second. I want the attack speed bonus from that and the armor um, reduction. I get my ulti whenever I possibly can because, uh, as I did say, it's one of the most uh, sort of used abilities that I do that between that and Bio Arcane Barrage. Void is I level last. Whilst it's a good slow, I really don't use it that much. The initial rank, so the uh, rank one, is good enough uh, until I am level uh, 14 and up, and I'm starting to use it a bit more uh, offensively than I would be de uh, defensively. So mastery is a pretty straightforward, um, similar to the rise build I had uh, 9021. Um, you guys can pause the video now if you want and uh, copy them down. I'm not going to go through every single one of them because there's way too many, um, but it is a pretty basic build. So these are the runes I generally use. Uh, Mark of Insight for magic penetration, uh, Clarity for MP5, and Potency for ability power. Um, the two quintessences, either Potency for more ability power or insight uh for more magic penetration up to you guys i use a bit of both um probably more potency than anything else but it's personal preference summoner spells okay um i'm really boring with my summoner spells to be honest i generally just use um ghost and flash 
that's really it for most characters. 90% of champions I use Ghost and Flash with. Um, unless I'm jungling, which in which case I'll use obviously Smite and something else. Um, occasionally I do put Ignite on other champions, but Cogmore, especially because he has very little escape sort of things, uh, Ghost and Flash are my favorited sort of summoner spells to use. So what items to buy? Um, I'm not going to read out every single thing here. Um, you guys can pause and read it for yourself. Um, but Berserker's Greaves is what I buy first. I generally start with the dagger and a health pot and then come back when I can afford the Berserker's Greaves as a full item. All right, so next we have the Blood Razor. Um, I start off buying the sword and the armor first, um, go up from there. It uh, doesn't matter with the other things, what order, as long as you get them at some point, obviously. Um, and coming back to buy the Blood Razor when it's done, you guys can pause the video to read what it does. Uh, this is particularly important. I really, really like this one, especially with the attack speed that I'm going to be stacking. So, Malady's next. Uh, Malady, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, read this. This is another very important item. Actually, the first one, two, three, I guess four or five items mm -hmm. are extremely important for the build that I um, I use, I, I play with, um, because they all revolve around my attack speed thing and, and how all that works. Um, so have a read. Uh, I generally buy the daggers first and then go from there. So my second to last sort of set item um, is Sword of the Divine. Now, I get this for the 60% attack speed, but more importantly, or just as important, I should say, is the passive. So every fourth attack you deal um, 100 magic damage. Um, now, this is extremely useful, seeming we're st uh, stacking attack speed, because that hundred extra 100 damage is going to be coming every, you know, one one second every one and a half seconds once you've got all six items so it really does start to add up after a while so my last set item that i have is void staff now i get this for ability power which is yeah that's all right but more importantly is the magic uh penetration so um especially later in the game um if you're going to be versing a lot of tanks and that sort of thing the magic penetration really does come in handy it allows you to put out just that bit more uh damage with your Arcane Barrage, and uh, your other abilities as well. So my sixth item really does uh, depend on how the match is going, what I'm up against, whether I'm winning, whether I'm losing. But by the time um, you're able to get your sixth item, you really should have a, a pretty much a clear indication as to whether you're going to win or lose or, or what's going on. So I have a choice between the Death Cap um, for extra ability power. I'll, you'll get a lot of ability power out of this or um, Phantom Dancer. So Phantom Dancer gives me a lot more attack speed and crit. Um, it, yeah, it really just comes down to a personal preference in the end. Um, I'm more than likely to get uh, the Death Cap, to be honest, because um, I will have probably more than enough attack speed by this stage in the game, um, but it really just depends on what I'm up against, whether I need the crit or whether I want to go uh, the ability and power. But as I said, nine times out of 10, I'm going to go for the death cap over the uh, dancer. All right, so up to rotation, just going to do this really quickly. Um, you want to start out with Calcic Spittle, put down your slow, then get your barrage up straight away. Start spamming your ulti as soon as you can. Um, you want to keep your barrage up as often as you can and then the slow when it's off cooldown to keep them slow down obviously um, as long as as well as spamming that uh, ulti now it's good to have the blue buff when you're in team battles because every time you're using the ulti it's going to add up mana um, the more you spam it the more mana it's going to use um, that's just one of the side effects unfortunately you can wait for that buff to disappear but generally by then the person's dead by your other teammates anyway so it, it's not worth it um i do use calcic spittle occasionally i used it initially once to get the armor pen reduction um and then i occasionally use it again it just depends where i am sort of in uh comparison to the enemy so these are cogmore skins i'm going to be quiet and just let you guys uh have a look at these
so that's pretty much it guys um that's how you play kogmo that's how i play kogmo keep that in mind this is only how i play him if you find a guide that works better for you great use that if not uh this is what works for me um now if you'll notice on this one this clip here um you notice how much attack speed i have and all of that this is without the uh i think i don't think i even have my fourth item on this no i have my fourth i don't have my fifth yet and notice how fast I, you can bring someone down and how fast you can attack. So you can imagine with six items just how quickly you're going to be able to drop tanks, towers, pretty much anything. You're going to be pretty much unstoppable by that stage. Um, leave, let me know in the comment below, guys, uh, what I should do for next week. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'll have one out next Friday from the next in the series. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll hear from you soon. See ya.